In this video, we'll look through the settings area. The first tab is system settings. Uh, make sure your time zone is set correctly so your class start and stops work, particularly when they're uh, not just for logging, but also when um, scheduling classes. Um, you can exclude the use of the system for outside IP address ranges, and this is not used a whole lot right now um, since um, most people need to have some kind of access for remote uh, remote classes. But if you did want to restrict it um, to just the inside school addresses, you could check this box. And then you can come over here to IP address ranges or IP ranges and um, put in the outside IPs of your uh, school or system network there. Um, next is whether or not you want to allow teachers to schedule classes to run uh, automatically on a schedule. Um, the next one, disable the class start stop notification on student devices. So with this one, every time a class starts and stops, the Chrome browser or Chromebook does a little pop-up notification to show that. And I will get a copy going here and show you what that looks like. So I'm now back here in Teacher Tools, and I'll start the class, and if you keep an eye on the bottom corner. There's the notification that pops up on the student device. The student will also have the A similar notification uh, whenever the class stops. Next is enable classroom on Windows and Mac. So if you uncheck this, um, the system will only function on Chromebooks um, and actually only on Chromebooks that are enrolled in the school's domain. So it would actually not work on a personally owned Chromebook. But with this enabled, it'll work on Mac and Windows as well as personal Chromebooks that are not uh, school managed or district managed. Permissions, this is that simple uh, chart where you just choose which um, features are available to each of these three roles and then users in those roles will only see the menu items or buttons for those particular functions. The Google tab is something that was already configured where you've linked to the Google account so there's not a lot to do there. Um, when we look separately at lost mode, we can come back and look and discuss the uh, lost mode defaults, um, that that's separate from the uh, main classroom portion. Integrations is where we enable um, our sync with Google Classroom or Schoology um, and any other connections uh, will be available in here. Blocked URLs, this would allow you to block something directly through the Chrome uh, or directly through the Chrome browser, uh, the Chrome extension for Classroom is as totally separate from securely filter or any other filtering that's happening district-wide. So this would be like for some additional item that for some reason you would want to block in here. Um, we see this used more at districts where they may have a, a, a filter that's not easy to configure for the district. And so they'll block something in here. Sometimes they're even managed by other companies outside of the district and it's quicker for them to add a couple of sites in here that they need to block. Um, in general, it's not used very heavily. This is not web filtering. This is just the extension getting a list of sites that it should not allow on that particular browser. So it, it can't handle massive lists of you know tens of thousands of sites or any kind of block lists or that sort of thing. It's for just manually adding a few sites here and there. So not heavily used, but it does block things at the organization level. And the IP address ranges we've already looked at. And school schedule is pre-configured for something like eight to three. Uh, Monday through Friday, but you can come in here and click at the very beginning of it and you can edit that. So if you actually needed it from, you know, uh, until say 3.30, it's already set for which days of week. And I can change this for all occurrences. And then you can see they all jump from 8 to 3.30. If I needed to enable something different, like for some reason something on a weekend, I could drag out a little block in here and I could say, okay, uh, repeat this. Uh, weekly on Saturdays, or I can just do it just a one-time deal there. That's um, pretty much it on the settings. And you'll find um, documentation on these under help. Um, if you go to Chrome Tools User's Guide, um, that will actually be renamed shortly to Securely Classroom. Um, but that will bring up a whole user's guide where you can go into the sections um, you know, on user management or settings, um, school schedule, etc.
Um, it's also fully indexed and fully searchable.